the first feature is about multitasking so for example i open one app for example i open this internet browser now i want to open another app so what i have to do i have to just select this app for example i want to open this notion app i will just select it and i can put it here in this split screen so i can just put it over here so now you can see i have two different apps open and i can work on both of these apps together now the next thing is i want to open one more app okay so what i have to do is i just have to select it like that and again i can open it in a split screen view so i can put it over here or here so i will put it over here like that now what i can do is i can change their sizes as well for example i want to increase this size like this so i can do it so i can change it to any size for example i can put it over here or i can change the size from here so if i want to make uh, this internet browser a little bigger size so i can put it like this the second thing is i can also rotate them i can change their position so what i have to do is i just select these three dots and here you see this option of rotate clockwise just select it so now here you can see i can change their position and again if i select i can again change their position as well the next thing is you can make your favorite app combination as well for example i want to make uh, the favorite app combination for these three apps okay so what i have to do again i just select these three dots and then here you see this option of star okay the star icon just select it so here you can add app pair to taskbar home screen or edge panel for example i want to add this add app pair to taskbar okay so now it is added to my taskbar now for example even if i close it even if i close everything okay so i will close it and then i go back to home so here you can see the app pair is available so now for example i am using some other app for example i open my gallery but i don't want it i want to open my app pair so simply i just have to select it from here and it will directly open my favorite app combo the next thing is you can open more apps in pop-up view so you just have to select the app for example i select this app and then i will drag and i drop here in the middle so here you can see the app is now open so here you can change its size and you can also change its position okay so for example i will put it over here i will reduce its size now you can work on all of these apps as well and now for example you want to open more apps you can easily open them so for example i select this app and then i drag it here in the middle and this app is now open and now for example i can change its position i can put it over here so same way you can open five apps in pop-up view the next thing is you can change the opacity of the pop-up apps so what you have to do is you just select these three dots select this opacity icon and then you can reduce its opacity so now you can see if i reduce its opacity you can see the app behind in the background okay so here you can see you can see the app behind and in the meantime you can also work on your pop-up app like features the next feature is edge panel so if i take out this tray you can see i open this edge panel and here i have different apps available so guys this edge panel has a lot of functionality you can use it to open the apps in split screen so for example i open this app the samsung notes and i can easily drag here or this side or at the bottom so for example i will put it over here now again i will use this edge panel and then i can use another app for example i select this internet browser and i open here in a pop-up view so the next thing is in the edge panel we have more options available you just have to scroll like this so here you can see we have more shortcuts available so these live messages if i scroll again so here you can see we can take the screenshot and then if you scroll again we have these more shortcuts you can make a video create new contact add alarm and then if i scroll then here we have temperature panel and then we have uh, this 
compass panel and then if you want you can use uh, this clipboard panel as well so for example i want to use this clipboard option what i will do i open uh, my notes for example i open a new note and here i want to add something from my clipboard so all i have to do is select this edge panel take it out and for example i want to use this image i will just uh, use it i will just hold it like that and i can drag it into my notes okay so here you can see i can drag it into my notes and later if you want you can also make it bigger and then you can also rotate it you can change its size as well so this edge panel has a lot of functionality you can also edit this edge panel if you want so all you have to do you select this pen option from here and then you have all other apps available so you can add any app to your edge panel for example i want to add this galaxy wearable app i just select it it will be added to my edge panel the next feature is samsung notes so samsung notes is a pre-installed app in this tablet with all necessary tools for note taking the next thing that i want to mention here is samsung notes has a great interaction with samsung internet browser for example i take out the edge panel i open the samsung internet browser in the split screen now for example i want to use this text in my notes i can directly drag it i will just select it like this and then i press and hold it and i can easily drag it into my notes the other thing is you can also drag images from your gallery as well for example i open this my files folder in the split screen now here i have different images so for example i want to use this image okay so i will just open this image now what i can do i can easily drag this image directly into my notes so i will just use it like this and then here you can see i can easily drag and then if you want you can rotate it you can also change its size okay and you can change its position as well you can also drag your pdf file directly into your notes as well so for example i have uh, these pdf files so for example i want this pdf file into my notes i can just directly uh, select it like this and you can see i can easily drag it and i put it over here so here is now my pdf file and now if i want i can also do all my annotations if i want to highlight something i can highlight if i want to create some kind of shape i can create some kind of shape and then if you want you can also use your pen as well you can write over here so this is how you can use your pdf file in your samsung notes as well the next important feature about this tablet is s pen so guys this s pen has a lot of functionality you can use it for note taking you can also use it as a remote for taking picture for example i will just press and hold it like this it will turn on the camera and now what i can do i can only uh, use the pen button to take the picture so here you can see i can take the picture now if i want to change uh, to the video mode i will just move it like this and it will move to the video mode and now if i want to record video i will just press it and it will start recording there are other features as well and i explain it in a different video you can have a look the other thing is you can also use it for taking screenshots so for example i want to take the screenshot of this part i will just press it and then move it like this and it will take the screenshot and now if i want i can also edit my picture using the pen option i can use the eraser option the next feature is about a screen recording so you can record your lecture for example you have a lecture going on uh, zoom and then for example in the meantime you want to take notes you can just open your notes and you can record your lecture so all you have to do is just bring down this notification panel and here you see this option of screen recorder just select it once you select it here it is showing you different option you can select any option and then start recording and then what you can do whatever you are doing you can record it for example you are doing your note taking and here you have your lecture so everything will be recorded the next thing is you can also turn on the front camera so here is the camera option just select it so here you can see it will turn on this front camera and then if you want you can also use the pen option option from the screen recorder if you want to highlight something in your lecture or if you want to record some important point you can use this pen option in your screen recording so once you finish just select this stop option and then it will be saved into your gallery and then later you can share it as well